Or something. Um, maybe. maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today is an awesome day. Oh my goodness. For the last um, 40 days, we have been doing a huge campaign because we are building something massive. It's called Celtic Avalon. I have wanted to do this for a long, long, long time. Is to take the King Arthur story in all of its power and glory and take it up to the stages of the world and do a touring production big touring production of this. Ooh, it needs to be done. And as of today, four days early, we just got 100% funding, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I am a happy girl, let me tell you. And, and I was so, I was so happy when it happened. Um, luckily, Ben had his camera with him. You can see me uh, on our website, heatherdale.com, or on YouTube, jumping into a night, well, I think they said it was about a 58 degree swimming pool out of pure joy. And it's, it's on YouTube, so, you know. I can't deny it at this point. <laughs> I'm, I like to think that it's because I'm Canadian and I'm like, oh, 58 degrees, pshaw, but it was damn cold. See above, <laughs> re antifreeze. <laughs> but uh, now, totally worth it. The thing about uh, these crowdfunding things is that once you hit your target and you've still got a couple of days left, you have to come up with a stretch goal. Yeah. So we've been working on stretch goals. <sighs> <laughs> Okay. There you go. Alrighty, this how, is a song how, how from the King. Do this? Oh, you okay, love? <laughs> he's gonna sing in a higher key. He is. He's gonna be doing the soprano part for the rest of the uh, rest of the song here. This is a King Arthur song about the wild child of Camelot. I love him. His name is Sir Gawain. Gawain was a pagan boy from the north. He was a prince of his own lands, but he gave it all up to come and be one of Arthur's knights. Now one day into Camelot. The doors opened, and who should stride into that hallowed hall but the green man himself. Green from the crest of his hair all the way down to his feet, and most importantly, the double-headed green battle axe that he carried. In marched the forest god, and didn't like what he saw. He looked around himself, and he started to insult King Arthur's knights. Now, normally that would not pass, but everybody knew who this was. This green knight was someone powerful and deep into the roots of the land. So no one was willing to defend King Arthur except Gawain, who knew perfectly well who this was. And he marched up and offered to defend his lord's honor in a duel to the death, to be fought a year and a day hence. And so for that year, they chased each other around the countryside, never quite meeting. And Gawain met trial after trial and temptation after temptation, and he overcame them all. And for the rest of his life, Gawain wore a green belt or a green sash to remind himself of what he learned about faith and loyalty. New Year's Day, dawning wet on Britain's shore. King's Hall roused by a pounding on the door. A giant knight dressed in green, never seen before, hefts an axe and holds it high and lets a challenge roar. You craven men may fear dishonor, but you fear my vengeance more. For that spear that chills you like a wraith, and it's doubt you gird about your waist. It's fair the man who hold to faith and face me in the morning. Huh. Sir Gawain, pagan prince of Northern Isles, he shouted, Shame on you, brothers, on your silence. Huh. He took the axe and struck his blow and brought the giant low. He raised his head and held it high and met the giant's eye and cried, I'll meet your vengeance in a year. We'll see who'll die, you or I. For that spear that chills you like a wraith, 
And it's doubt you gird about your waist. It's rare the man who'll hold to faith and face me in the morning. Summer gone. So Gawain leaves upon his quest With a five point star sign of faith upon his chest He seeks his foe, travels west, not knowing where to go There's no clue until a baroness has offered aid to show But only if he stays as guest within her bower Three days, no less that's fear that chills you like a wraith And it's doubt you gird about your waist It's rare the man who'll hold to faith And face me in the morning She plays the maid, <laughs> but vain the baroness's hope. For Gawain's not swayed, another lady holds his oath. She offers body, offers land, but each advance is spurned. So she puts a belt into his hand, a gift of magic earned by constancy in face of all temptation to his given word. Now that's fear that chilled you like a wraith, but this is hope you gird about your waist. It's rare the man will hold to faith and face me in the morning. So New Year's Day, dawning wet on Britain's shore, and Gawain meets that same green knight once more. A man who laughs and gives his hand instead of Charon's fee. Gawain at last perceives his god and bends a reverent knee. Take and wear my lady's belt, the green man gladly cries. See to it you serve us well in all the paths of life. Be constant and be faithful, and wear that belt for all to see. That man came here for justice, and he left here blessed by me. He left here blessed by me, left here blessed by me, he left here blessed by me. They, they want they want another one.